What's up, guys? Welcome to your App Store update for Friday, May 3rd. I'm Justin. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. Yeah, remember that song? Gotta get down. Yeah, um, I, I'm Marty. Oh, yeah, yeah, you didn't introduce yourself. Hello, all. We just immediately started with the Rebecca Black. <laughs> um, Marty, we got three game debuts cool. today and then um, a handful of price drops and freebies. Cool, cool. The first one is uh, Lego Star Wars The Yoda Chronicles. So you, we had not heard of this until pretty much... Yeah, this game ago. this game just popped up on the App yeah. Store. Um, you know, no press release, no sort of attention, no I don't know anything about it, never yeah. heard of it, and it just sort of appeared. And it's possible that, you know, I just missed it and sure, that, sure. you know, they were talking about yeah. it. So um it's this interesting I was like, Oh, new mysterious Lego Star Wars, yeah, let's yeah. check it out. But it's not like normal Lego Star Wars. It's uh like this sort of strange real time strategy deal. Weird. And it's got these cutscenes. It's got a lot of cutscenes. It had a very long opening. These like CG cutscenes and they might be taken do you I don't watch the show. Like could these Is be there taken? a Lego Star Wars show? Oh well, no, you're right. There is no Lego yeah, Star yeah. Wars show. Good call. Um, but there is that other cartoon that I don't watch. I don't watch yeah, the Clone yeah, Wars either. But they're not Lego characters, so obviously not. not taken from yes. that. So you tap to move your units Strange. And then you tap to fire on the enemy units. Yeah, so this isn't anything like the uh, Traveler's Tales uh, Lego games. No, no, Tra no. Tra it's Lego awesome. Star Wars, but it's not Traveler's sure, Tales. Sure. That's exactly right. And then you earn these uh, studs. Oh, bolt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's getting in. He's getting in. Oh, well. Where are you going, guys? It seems kind of buggy. It yeah, seems, yeah. you know, a little slow. Um, seems like 90% uh, of the resources went into those cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can build more from here. You okay. can build more like vehicles and stuff. So you can like you know replenish here. You 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 spend the studs that you made to like get more units and sure, vehicles. Sure. It's like a super simple casual RTS. Yeah, yeah. It's got a handful of levels. It's got it, these weird like promotional hooks built into it where it's like go to Lego.com and do oh, this wow. other stuff. I don't know. This game's strange, man. Also, Yoda never uses a gun. Yeah, that bothered me too. But then I'm like, well, maybe he would actually end up using a gun in the Traveler's Tales one. So it's like you got to pick and choose what you're going to be <laughs> upset about. Um, this is Lego Star Wars: The Yoda Chronicles. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on that one. How much is it? Free. Okay, so I'm still going to pass. <laughs> it's free, and I think it's some promotional. I mean, I don't know. I wish I knew more about it. Yeah. Um, that's that. Yeah, that that's was, a thing. That, that was a thing. That, that was exists. There's no taking that. You can't put that genie back in the bottle, Marty. <laughs> Um, we got another weird one today. This is Spirited Soul. Snail teeth. And sometimes you see these weird, um, I think they're almost all from China. Okay. Um, just these weird, strange games yeah, just like yeah. pop up. And like usually they have like good graphics and you're like, okay, okay. And then you reach some point where you're like, oh. This looks, uh, kind of looks like the Little King Stories games. Nothing like that. No, no. Um, it's more of like a defense sort of deal. Love them three stars. Have you ever gone a day without a game that had a three-star system? No. 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 <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. So what I just did is I chose like what my defensive towers were gonna be. Okay. And these towers are gonna spit out, they're gonna vomit out units. Okay. And they do it on an interval. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm assuming that maybe I can speed that up, I don't know. And then I control this like sort of hero character directly. Yeah. And then he has some like special abilities on the right. Uh, Otherwise, like your enemy just like clashes in with the opponent's enemies. I, I played this for like a while on the train and yeah. I'm like I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't get it. Like I it's just really kind of at this point I don't know who is on your team and who is not. No. Uh, and like my character just swings automatically when he gets close. Like I'm not touching anything and he's just attacking. I like how the own. damage is uh, in decimal points too. <laughs> Twenty four point <laughs> nine. So I'm not touching the screen and this yeah. guy he attacks automatically whenever he gets in range yeah, of anybody. Yeah, sure. Um, Except for when he doesn't, like now he's not attacking. Yeah, yeah. But now I, he's just he's just going wild on him. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I don't want to spend any more time on this one either. No. It just came out today, so I wanted to show it off. Yeah. It seems like like it's got these really sort of heavy freemium hooks. Like you need to spend rubies to do everything. Like everything costs rubies, and I don't have any rubies. And hey, I bet you could buy some rubies for real money. Yeah, yeah. and this is this is Spirited Soul. It's ninety nine cents. Okay. I mean, it's the same deal as all the rest of these games. Like it's not offensively bad, but. Eh. But there is so many better ways to spend your time. Uh yeah, Glory of Generals came out. Okay. Glory of Generals is two ninety nine. It's universal. It's sort of a hardcore strategy. Yeah. Oh, I can load a game. This one has decimals too. Nineteen thirty nine point nine. But this one is allowed to have decimals because it's one of those like really deep war games, okay. right? 
So, um, you know, it's sort of like Advance War is only like super hardcore, sure, right? Sure. So, um, you know, and it's based on real world. Well, I don't know how like real the real world scenarios are, but like, you know, the allies are retreating and, uh, you know, you're fighting the Germans. And sure, you, can, sure. you can be the Axis or the allies, um, okay. you know, they let you choose your side. So it's one of those deals. Um, and if I end my turn, then the AI takes their turn. Okay, gotcha. Uh, whoa. There's airdrops happening. So um, my ally, I'm the French, unfortunately, okay. and now I'm allied with the British soldiers, and we're watching the British take their turn, and now we're watching the Germans take their turn. To be honest, this is incredibly confusing looking. Uh, I guess the only way to differentiate between everything is the little, the little flag. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's very little, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, they should probably be, like, different colors, colors or something, yes, right? Yes. Um, I have no idea whether this game's any good or not. But it seems like it's one of those, I mean... Are there a lot of like heavy RTS options? Uh, like, there's like, almost like war. There's okay. more like there's Battle of the Bulge and you know okay. other games. Oh no, that are I really mean like uh, on the iOS library. Yeah, Battle general. of the Bulge is iOS. Oh, I thought you. I thought literally we were talking about oh. the Battle of the Bulge in this game. Not the historical the, not event the that yeah. happened. There's a video game called okay. Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> yeah, I mean strategy is something that's growing on the App Store. There's sure, sure. some interesting you know ones that took place in the Roman Empire. So I have no idea how this game stacks up yeah, to those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Seems kind of hardcore though, so it seems like yeah, you know, it seems very we, hardcore and serious. Real strategy fans need to play. Uh, so there are a handful of price drops and freebies today, but the big thing that's going on is uh, Gameville is running a huge sale on a lot of, a lot of their games. Nice. So um, you know, Gameville games are kind of hit and miss. Some are very very good. Some are not so great. Gameville's a Korean oh, company. Yeah. Gameville. <laughs> Uh, Kami Retro, Kami Retro is free, and I absolutely love this game. Awesome. So, you know, this is the one that I'm going to choose to sort of represent all okay. of them. It's, uh... Three stars. It's, well, yeah, sure. But don't judge <laughs> it based on that. So, you're trying to get all your Holy little guys... Holy crap. Oh, yeah, it's Korean as hell, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I already set up, so you can move these around, and I okay. already, they're, they're still set up from where I had them set up in the last level. Yeah. So, and then you tap this little portal, a guy comes out, you swipe him to make him jump. Okay, nice. And then you swap. Oh, I screwed up, I screwed up. I guess they're not moved from where they were in the last level. Okay, stay, stay, stay there, stay there. And then this one can go down here. Here we go, so swipe. Okay. Swipe, and then swipe, so it's gonna bounce bounce like you're trying to get them to go okay okay i gotcha i gotcha and then you get to a point where you're kind of trying to manage like that last one wasn't in the exit before the next one came out the top yeah like yeah. does that make sense so yeah, it, yeah. it gets kind of hectic with uh so we got to get this guy over this and then jump bounce and then this guy's going oh man. so you so like you get to the point where this is an early ish stage so you know you don't have a bunch of multitasking yeah like it's basically the, a multitasking game where it's like you need to not forget about the last guy before you send the new guy yeah. out and it's one of those games, super simple. And here's the deal: like this is free today. Yeah. And yeah. like I totally spent a buck or two on yeah, this yeah. and loved it before. So it's like this is one that everybody should download. Yeah. It makes smart use of the touch screen. It has incredibly rad, unique art style. Seems yeah. Absolutely insane. The style is kind of yeah. nuts. It's got lots and lots and lots it's of got levels. Spooky levels, disco levels. Um, so Kami Retro is free, uh, and they have you know I downloaded some of their other games. Coliseum Heroes is a popular beat 'em up. That's free. Uh, all the Zenonia games are free. Air nice. Penguins free. And then they have other stuff. You know, we looked at one of their Baseball Superstars yeah, games the right. other day. The previous Baseball Superstars games are free. Um, so, uh, you know, I just suggest hitting up the App Store and seeing. You yeah, know, I don't want to download a handful of them. Just play them for like five, ten minutes. If you like it, keep it. Yeah, yeah. Zenonia, Air Penguin, and Kami Retro. I specifically downloaded those because they're all very good. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and some of the other ones again are kind of hit and miss. Sure. Oh, and uh, the Game Dev Story guys, Kairosoft, uh, Oh Edo Towns is on sale for nine nine cents. Is that red? Do you like that? Um, I mean, do you know Game Dev Story yeah, and their other I games? I love Game Dev Story. So the thing about Edo Towns is it's very Japanese, okay. so you need to like understand Japanese culture. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's not my favorite of their games, yeah. but uh, you know, for ninety nine cents, if you're like a sim player, you can do a lot worse sure. than Edo Towns. Yeah. And now I lied to you before, but that yeah. is it for today. Now. Okay, I trust you now because there's no other icons on the screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's exciting. I'm gonna download Kami Retro. Yeah, you should. It's really fun. Kami Retro and Air Penguin are totally winners. I'm not going to download Spirited Soul. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, that's it. Yeah, that was exciting. Thanks, it was a good Marty. week. It was a solid week. Yeah, it was a good week. Lots of good board games this week. Lots right. of good freebies this week. Right. Um, you know, everybody at home that watches the App Store update, thank you for being sort of loyal yeah, viewers. We get lots of positive comments, and people seem to really dig it. So tell your friends. Um, you know, make sure you're keeping it locked to IGN. We do all our mobile game coverage. Coverage? Cav coverage? Coverage. I think there's an end. <laughs> <laughs> people aren't going to know that you're being sarcastic if you don't like clarify 
Um, we do all of our mobile game coverage at IGN.com slash wireless and YouTube.com slash IGN mobile games.